impression I've got, having had day-long conversations with uh, ChatGPT a couple of days ago and DeepSeek yesterday about designing software, uh, it's incredible that you can start a conversation by talking about goals and the mission of what you're trying to do, and then looking at architecture, and then you look at some of the challenges, and this is the AI telling me what the challenges are. It's doing most of the legwork here. And then going down and say, well, how could we, how could we build a prototype to do this? And to have those, con uh, those conversations in a day where it would normally take weeks and weeks with 25 people being involved, all having their say, means that like, you know, a one-man band like you or me can build some pretty clever stuff, not build, design some pretty clever stuff very quickly. I'm having great fun, but, but it, it's the fact that it, it can have conversations at the very highest level and down, down and dirty at the code level. That, that's it, absolutely remarkable, you know? Now, you've still got to treat it as someone who knows 90% of the problem, not the 100%, and still have that caution. But uh, I'm still optimistic, you know, and you've just got to, you've, you know, that 10% is, is like the 10% of code that doesn't work in any system. It, it causes it to be completely useless. You've still got to pay attention to that. And that's why I think we'll still need testers, we'll still need good designers, we'll still need good programmers, we'll still need users who know what they want.